Hello dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Mukesh English. In this video, we are going to discuss the importance of reference materials, the types of reference materials and how they are very much important to collect information for the research purpose or to get any other further information. Reference material means the different types of resources that provide background information or quick facts on given topics. So there are different types of resources, for example, almanacs, atlases, biographies, biographical resources, dictionaries, encyclopedia, handbooks, indexes, statistics, citation. Now, let's have a look at each type of resource, resources which could be useful to get the information for any purpose. <clears throat> So the first resource we are going to discuss here is almanacs and yearbooks. So what is almanacs? Almanacs are usually published annually. Though they are not usually used for extensive research, they contain specific facts, statistics, tables, and list out people, places, events, countries, organizations, zip codes, and popular culture such as sports, entertainments. Generally, almanacs cover a broad period of time. Yearbooks contain similar information, but yearbooks cover the information only for particular given year. So this is how almanacs and yearbooks play very important role as a research, as a, as a reference material to collect the information, to collect the facts. Next one, atlases. Atlases contain an organized group of pictorial or illustrated political, cultural, physical, road, or any thematic maps. Atlases may be organized around a specific subject, theme, or geographic area. Up next, bibliographies, the most important source of information. Bibliographies compile comprehensive list of resources that share one or more common attributes about a particular subject, person, geographical area, etc. Some bibliographies also briefly describe the resources that are listed. One should consult a bibliography when they want citations that will guide them to specific resources. So the most important source of any material or any content is the bibliography as far as the reference or the citations are concerned. Chronologies and timelines. Chronologies and timelines summarize the advancement of an event or happening by supplying brief milestones in the progression of the event. The summaries will be presented day by day, year by year, or by another chronological breakdown. Standard dictionaries. Standard dictionaries give an alphabetical list of words and the definition, but there are several useful variations, variations also classified as dictionaries. For example, the thesauri, which contain synonyms and antonyms, but usually don't define the words. There are also dialect and slang dictionaries, dictionaries of abbreviation, abbreviations, dictionaries of acronyms, dictionaries of quotations, dictionaries of picture dictionaries. And so we can say that dictionaries can be unabridged or general and can be thematically organized in some way. So to some extent, dictionaries also help us to understand the words, meanings, the sources. So this also plays a very important role as far as the reference source or the reference materials are concerned. Next, common dictionary, uh, sorry, the directories. Directories contain an organized list of people or organizations and help one to find information, for example, addresses, phone numbers, email addresses, so that 
this is for the organizations the people which in which are included within the scope of that directory so in this way the, the directories also give us a minute information like the phone number address email address so that we can easily get the information encyclopedias encyclopedias contain full coverage of information about an area of knowledge they can be general or can cover a specific subject and contain alphabetically organized entries with varying details these are great starting points for fact finding getting background topic information learning of key events and individuals or starting a research project next we have here gazetteers gazetteer is a geographical dictionary that includes brief descriptive geographical historical or statistical information on specific places occasionally a gazetteer may focus on specific subject area now up next we have here handbook or the manuals a handbook contains facts about a specific subject or instructions that can be used to accomplish something a handbook can come in several forms example as a manual for completing task or a guide book providing information about a subject about a region such as we can say like travel log a travel guide book handbooks are often designed for quick consultation and easy portability so it's very easy to carry handbook then we have indexes which are especially useful for the research purpose indexes are compilations on information generally arranged either alphabetically or numerically that indicate the location of related information either within or outside of the same resource in nutshell we can say that reference materials are of critical importance in establishing comparability and accuracy of analytical results between different locations and over time dear friends thank you so much for watching this video you can reach me at mukeshenglish@gmail.com please do subscribe the channel click on the like button for more videos on literature workbook pronunciation grammar communication skills presentation skills interview skills stay in tune with mukesh english thank you once again